Number 44. Which of the following equations describe particle-like behavior? Which describe wave-like behavior? Do any involve both types of behavior? Describe the reasonings for your choices. Okay, so I see A through E, so A, B, C, and then D and E. So particle-like behavior is basically talking about a certain particle, right? And usually particles have mass. So if you're talking about something that has an actual mass to it, then it would be a particle-like behavior. Wave-like behavior talks about wave functions, and that's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So if you're talking about waves and part of the electromagnetic spectrum, I'll just put ES for short, then you're talking about wave-like behavior. So wavelengths, frequencies, frequency is a V. Particle-like behavior is a mass, so that would be M. Sometimes it could be one, sometimes it'll be the other, and sometimes you could have both. So let's see. A, C equals wavelength times frequency. This is clearly, which one do you think? Wave-like. Because... There's no mass here, right? This is just talking about energy, and especially because they're talking about waves, right? And wavelengths are sinusoidal waves. So this clearly is a wavelength behavior. Um, describe the reasoning for your choices. You can say something like there's no mass, and also because um, it's you know talking about something that you can find on the electromagnetic spectrum. So the ES. I just don't want to waste your time trying to write everything down here. You guys can pause this video if you want to kind of write it down for yourself. B is E equals MV squared over 2. So energy equals mass times volume. In this case, this is, sorry, not volume, this is velocity. So it's mass times velocity divided by 2. In this case, we clearly have a mass. So this has to be particle-like. Particles have mass. Waves, however, don't. So energy does not have a mass. Um, so therefore, we don't consider energy as far as particle behavior. But here's a clear mass. So it has to be a particle-like behavior. So that gets rid of B. C. R equals n squared a0 over z. This one's tricky, right? There's nothing that tells me that there's a mass. There's no m. And nothing that tells me that it's a wave, kind of like wavelength or frequency. But we've seen this formula before. What was this talking about? It was the radius of basically how far an electron was away from the nucleus. So they're talking about electrons. Is electrons represented as particles or are they represented as wave-like? Electrons are represented as particle because they have a certain mass to them. So this would be particle-like. Why? Briefly describe. Because it's just describing how far electrons would be away from the center of the nucleus particle-like. D. E equals HV. So we have energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. The V here is frequency. Well, no mass here, and they're specifically talking about frequency, which interchanges back and forth between a wavelength. So this one would have to be talking about waves, a wave-like wave -like behavior. So this one is clearly wave-like because frequency is linked to wavelengths. Frequency is linked to waves, the electromagnetic spectrum. It's talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. So that could be a explanation to why this is wave-like. And then last but not least, E, wavelength equals h over mv. Now here, what do you guys think? We see that we have wavelength, so clearly this is wave-like. 
We're talking about wave length, so this is wave like, right? So this is talking about part of the electromagnetic spectrum. We're talking about waves, but we also have a m in here, and mass is the m. So what do you guys think? Since there's both properties, it's both. So this is the only one that's involves both types of behaviors. So E would be wave-like and particle-like. And that's it. Guys, this one was fun. This one was easy. Just kind of understanding all the different formulas. Basically, we've seen most of them except for B and E so far, but they'll, they'll probably be coming up soon. All right, so thanks for, so much for tuning in. Tell your classmates about us. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day. See you in the next question.